Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the World Cup Road to Glory, boys. First of all, if you guys can smash over 2,000 likes on this video, tomorrow I will have a video where we do yet another cup run, as we have done with Egypt. We'll do it with a new country, and let me know in the comments down below which country you would like to see in the next video of that series so to say so go ahead and hit that like button if you're excited for that but also hit it just for the fact that we have gotten these incredible players into our team last episode we did four icon SBCs, and we got ourselves blanc the man the dream i wanted him that's the number one card i wanted to pack i wanted him more than ronaldo or anyone i just wanted that guy in my defense i wanted to improve my defense finally and we have brought him in and he has uh definitely a very very good look in our center back position right there nakata has also joined into our team kante obviously will be playing cdm but um we also have okocha coming in a five star skiller a player that will be bringing fun into our team and we also have hernandez up top together with Dybala at this stage so what we wanted to bring in into our team next was a Brazilian left back or a South American left back we do need an Alexandro or a Marcelo down the left hand side that would be perfect for our team and then I think the next upgrade we'd be looking to make will be Kimpembe upgrading to someone like a Boateng or a Ramos something like that a European center back or even actually an icon there's no one else left is there is Desai a, a centre-back? His prime icon? I think it is. I, I genuinely don't know which icons we have in the World Cup mode. Let me check that real quick. Okay, so we have Bobby Moore. That is one centre-back that we can pack. Puyol, that's the second one. Blanc. And then we have... No one else. That's it. Those are the icons that we have for the World Cup mode. So there is no Desai. So I have to hope for a Ramos or a Boateng or even a Hummels. So finally, actually, we have won the online tournament once. Now with this team, we'll jump into the online tournament at this stage and start to farm packs. That is what we want to do. So I'll do two group stages, get myself two premium, play uh, premium packs and then also the um, four single player packs and then from those players that we get from there we'll do South America upgrades in order to bring in a left back into our team someone that will get us a little bit more chemistry than Danny Rose now since the icon SPC came out I haven't really played any games seems like this guy hasn't done the icon SPCs which is quite surprising also man I legit cannot wait for the World Cup to start are you guys as excited as I am the World Cup is always such a special occasion you you watch every single match you get hyped about every match that you see and at the end of the day someone grabs that trophy and lifts it either you're happy for them or you're not but you have emotions watching the World Cup and I really hope that Germany can do well so far from the testing matches we haven't really done too well I kind of feel like Brazil will run through the tournament and win it currently my favorites are definitely Brazil they are looking incredibly strong with Neymar back into their side and they already have an amazing side in my opinion they just need to be playing tactically the right football in order to not concede because in the attack they will score they will score loads and loads of goals but obviously it's all about the defense which has been crushed by germany once maybe we can do it one more time Kondogbia, okay i just let him run through and score this guy plays really awkward uh first of all i have to point that out he passes the ball to his uh players and then he just stands there just waiting until I make a move and then he passes the ball so it's already a very awkward match but I haven't changed positions yet good cross uh, no one gets to it Okocha on it though Okocha come on let's do something special let's do oh my god and then there's this guy is not attacking at all he plays some of the weirdest FIFA I've ever seen when he has the ball, he just passes it around, wait until I move towards him, and then he starts moving. When I'm moving forward, he just runs back with his defender the whole time and gives me too much space. Nakata, Hernandez is making his run, Hernandez, Hernandez, 2-1, we're back into it, 17th minute, we take the lead. We can't be losing against someone like this. By the way, also, uh, let me know what kind of kits you want me to use. I know that the Nigeria one is very, very favored by a lot of people. I don't know 
if we have another like incredibly hyped kit around but let me know the nigeria one i know you guys would want me to use that one but which one else which ones let me know in the comments down below hernandez easy 3-1 hernandez on his debut this team on their debut like a lot of players obviously new into our starting lineup are doing quite well i like it um the midfield dynamics we are playing in the 4-2-3-1 not the 4-1-2-1-2 actually um paulinho and kante at cdm is quite great paulinho can defend as well but also moving forward he's quite good and this is what this guy does he just holds on to the ball and waits i don't know what he's doing but um the dynamics do feel okay so far nakata is the central attacking midfielder and okocha down the wing with dibala they are doing quite good i like it Hernandez, Dybala, Dybala, 4-1, well, this game is over, whoop, whoop, what a oh, <laughs> the sound effects though. I was listening, oh no, I was listening to a podcast. I don't know if I can actually use this. I just turned it off because I was like, this game is already over. I don't need to show you guys anything, but that goal. Okocha just, oh no. Oh no, Okocha, what did you do? What did you do? That's disrespectful, man. So this game ends with the disrespect of Okocha. He, oh boy, he's so much fun to use. He is so good with the skills. It's just ridiculous. His movements are amazing. And I can imagine a lot of people who are skillers playing the World Cup mode, having people like freaking Dembele in their team, Neymar and Okocha and so on, and having the time of their lives. This is an amazing squad. Here is our second opponent. Again, no icons. They're so easy to get. I'm really surprised that no one has these icons. Oh, I completely forgot about Felipe Luis. That is another left back that we could potentially pack for our team. So we have three really good left backs from Brazil. Felipe Luis, Alexandro, and Marcelo. One of those three, hopefully, will join us in this episode. Ococha. Oh, man, this guy is on fire. Ococha is so fun to use. That is such a nice goal. Again, it's all Ococha. I'm actually imagining a side of Neymar, Okocha, and Dembele. That could be such a fun team to use. Three five-star skillers up top, or obviously Ronaldo. That works as well. But yeah, I would like to try that at some time. Danny Rose, good pass into Dybala. Dybala running through. Dybala, it is 2-0. 30 second, second group stage match. Seems like it's going to be one as well. This team is playing so good in a 4-2-3-1. The gameplay, once again, feels nice. I like that. Just scored the third goal, and I think my opponent will be leaving. Yes, Kante with the long shot, boys. And we get ourselves another single player back. And that also means that we are going through into the next round. And that means we are restarting the group stages once again. Let's take a look at what we get from the first group stage run. We are yet to pack the biggest players. Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo, uh, Suarez. We are yet to pack them. So there's a lot to go for. Even though we already have five icons in our team, that doesn't mean anything. Because we still have so much to go for. And especially with the... Um, players being upgraded we got to make sure that as soon as the world cup starts we have the most amount of players in our club especially like the higher rated ones because if they get upgrades they can become so sick players uh, argentina center mid not gonna be that good is it pastore at least that's a player that we can use for an svc and also a board on top of it so i don't mind that at all but yeah um, i'm really looking forward to the player upgrades i kind of feel like they could be huge in terms of this world cup mode it really depends though oh we only get one board player here it really depends on how what are they... who is this augusto is 85 rated what the hell what what okay i guess 
<laughs> I did not expect that at all. First South America upgrade of the day. This is the one that we are doing, boys. We got one South America players pack, and I think this could be very good if we can get ourselves that left back. That is the one way that we are uh, searching for in this whole episode. But also, if we can get another decent attacker from South America, I genuinely would not mind. A Suarez would be beautiful if that is actually possible right here. But let's see what we get from the first tournament run that we have done. These are the players that we are getting. Come on, give us a good one. Give us a goodie. Give us a goodie. It is boards. It is only one board player though. Argentina or Brazil. Come on, Brazil mostly. Argentina? Sent to mid again. It's gonna be Pastore, isn't it? I just sent him away for this SPC and I get him again. Ay, ay, ay. We get a right back, Danilo. Nah, that's not good enough. We gotta do one more. Let's do one more. Oh god, okay. We're back into the online tournament, starting off again in the group stages, and this guy has a ridiculous team. Oh, pen. Thank you. In the 23rd, we do get a penalty. Carlos Puyol is taking us down. And Nakata will put it in right now. Nakata. Yes. There we go. Easy goal. 24th. We take the lead with a penalty of Nakata. And um, he has been quite okay. I don't know why people keep complaining about that card when they pull him in the icon packs. I genuinely feel like he's decent. Obviously, he's not one of the best. But he's still better than so many cards on this game. And he has 4 star, 4 stars. So, I don't know. I love him. I don't know why people complain about it. That's going to be a goal. Yeah, he came through too easily. I pulled Blanc out of position. And that is the equalizer for our opponent. Ah, got to be a little bit more careful there at the back. Sterling is running through. Raheem Sterling against Ramos. Raheem Sterling against a lot of people. And then he gets it in. Great job, Sterling. Great substitute in the 63rd. Hernandez scores yet again, and he has been really good as well. I mean, he has been in the right position most of the time. His pace is great. His finishing is good, but his physicals is what kind of annoys me with Hernandez. He is way too easy to be pushed off the ball, and that's something I don't like about my strikers. I need my strikers to be strong, as the referee has shown his strength right there. Good stuff, Hernandez. Nice, Di Maria. Hernandez. Passing play on point. Di Maria into Hernandez. And he's once again in the right position to slot it in. It is 3-1. And that is going to be the end of this match. Since we do have 7,600 uh, coins right now, we can just go ahead and open one uh, premium pack and hope for the best. Come on. Let's see what we get. 7,500 coins. Should be something good. It's going to be boards. It's going to be two board players. Please, Brazil. Brazil, left back. Left. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Hold on. That, that is... No, 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 no. That's rigged. That is completely rigged. Every episode, I get what I want. Every episode, I get exactly what I want. That is weird. I wanted Blanc in the last episode in the Icon SPCs. Got him. I wanted Marcelo, Alexandro, or Felipe Luis, a Brazilian left back, one of those three. And we get the best one. Marcelo is joining right. I genuinely don't know what it is, but we keep on getting the players that we want. And I love it. We got a four-star scaling Marcelo into our squad. And now the chemistry is looking even better. So I might be thinking about... Going ahead and changing our manager from South America to Europe because the European players, a lot of them are currently on a low chemistry, especially Kim Pembe. So let me just see what happens when I do put in a European manager into this team. So if we do put him in there, we get only Paulinho and uh, Dybala on 9 chem and the rest is looking quite all right, you know. So I might want to go with the European one. I think that is going to be better for us. Now, our second opponent in the group stages obviously has done a couple, just a couple icon SBCs. <laughs> he has a ridiculously good looking team. He will be playing in a 4-2-3-1 as well. So that might be another thing that we have to deal with. But his center backs are not the fastest. And not the most agile players. So maybe we can use that to our advantage. There we go. Joshua Kimmich. Now. I see you there. Nakata. Nakata. Get in there. Pass it back. Hernandez. 
Nakata against Mateus Ronaldo. Goal. 1-1. One, one. That was such a powerful shot from Mateus. Ronaldo just stood there like, oh, the ball's right here. There we go. Easy. This time around, Nakata puts it in. 2-1 up. Good job, Nakata. Here goes Hernandez with the pass into Dybala. And look at this strike from Dybala. See? That's exactly the angle you want to have Dybala in. And of course... Hernandez. Hernandez. Wow. He pushed off Bobby Moore. And that is the rage quit as well. We make it through yet another group stage. This time it's basically extra because we already have the player that we wanted. I got to think about who I want next. I think it's a next center back. A good, good European center back is what we're aiming for. Now here we are. The third match. I forfeited as always. And we get ourselves a single player pack and then another one and a premium pack on top of it. Now I'm actually hoping to get high rated cards oh we get a board from a single player pack what is it going to be peace check okay that was like for a second i was like nah i'm not getting Lewandowski out of a freaking single pack a pack am i and we got 84 rated peace check which is not bad don't get me wrong it's a great card to get and for the icon spc he'll be very usable so that is perfect can we get back to back boards on single player packs i think i never had that happen to me and still, it remains that way. We move ahead and we see what we get right here. It is going to be a centre-back Sigurdsson, which is completely fine by me. And now we'll be getting five players out of this one, which means we could potentially get something big. We are yet to pack an icon. Oh, wow. Out of the normal packs. So we, this time around, we just get a regular uh, left wing, whoever that is. I don't know. That was an awkward pack, wasn't it? I kind of expected a little bit more and really low rated players as well. Wow. All right, guys, we are doing a Europe upgrade, hoping to get ourselves the center back that we are looking for. Umtiti, Varan, Ramos. Who else? Who else is there? Those are the top three personally for me that I would like to get into my team at the moment. But Varan would be my number one choice. So... Watch me get Varan right now. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm just hoping for a good one. Ooh, we get no boards. That really hurts. We don't get anything out of this one. All right, guys. Big decision has been made. We are doing an icon pack to end up the episode. We are sending away Cavani, Viana, William, Fernandinho, Pastore, Di Maria, and then also a couple of players down in the defense. Uh, Fernandinho I have as a duplicate, and I think I have Di Maria as a duplicate as well. So some of them will be coming back, but Cavani, who has been helping us out at the start, is now leaving. He's just not the type of strike that I personally like. Obviously, from the stats, you can tell he has done an amazing job for us, but I am not looking to use him in my future ultimate team. So we will send him away while we can and get ourselves the beast of an icon, hopefully. It's just not going to be a duplicate. If it is a duplicate, I'll be very upset and that'll be a very sad end to the episode. But guys, here is yet another icon upgrade. And I want you to smash that like button on three when I open the pack on three. All right, let's do this together. Let's hope for Brazil. One, two, three. Come on, please. Brazil, 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 Brazil. Come on. Give us a big one. Give us a big striker. Brazil! Cam! Ronaldinho! Yes! Another five-star skiller. Another one that is not a duplicate. Oh boy, I get everything that I want, don't I? I legit get everything. Every one that I want. I keep on getting the ones that I need. I mean, obviously, I wanted Ronaldo, but... I can just as well play him as a striker. I genuinely don't mind. This Ronaldinho will be just as good as a striker. <laughs> Yo, this is amazing. I'm so happy with this. And I hope you guys are as well. That will be the end of this episode. Ronaldinho has been packed. And he'll be playing for us at the start of the next episode. He will be making his debut. Thank you so much for watching. What an episode this has been once again. We got the left back that we wanted. And we got an amazing icon in Ronaldinho. Love you guys. Have a great day. Take care. Peace.